in this video we are going to create the logout model so in order for us to do that inside the profile button we also have another container so this one will be a div we will give it a class of menu dash container inside the menu container we have our ul with a class of menu bar inside the menu bar we have our list items so we have li with a class of menu underscore me underscore wrapper or wrap inside the wrapper we have an icon S. So the icon is an SVG icon. So we have inside here, we have our icon. So this one will be a link tag. Then open up your PHP tag and close it here. Then why echo URL underscore four. This one the with the profile. The semicolon. Inside it, it's our icon. That's our SVG icon. It's inside the assets SVG profile.spg. So copy this one from here. Then this is here. So this is what we have. Then that is so this one will be a span with a class of menu dash s so this one will be profile so let's go and see okay so now this is what we have okay so now the next thing is save icon so copy this one over here and paste it for three more times so this one why will be saved and this one to be saved that's the link i remove this one from here so we have save.spg, so copy this one from here and paste it here. Okay. Then we have settings. So this one be setting. Then this one to be settings. This one settings. Then the icon will change to settings, which is this one. Then paste it here. Then we also have switch accounts. So this one will be switch accounts. Switch account. Remove this one from here. Then this part is not going anywhere, so we use an ampersand. Then is account.spg so copy this one from here then just paste it here we also have another li so this one be copy this one from here and paste it here so over here we also have border that's separator
then this one will be log out so copy this one from here then paste it here so this one will be log out we don't need this one so remove it then this one will be log out test that's test and the test means I will also be log out So now refresh it. Okay, so this is what we have now. So now I'll click on it and inspect. So the first thing that we need to work on is the menu container. So copy this one from here. Go to your sources. Over here, dot the paste here. But before we do that, I want us to remove all bulletin from the list item. So why you be U L L I the list star the star be none. So first I want us to position it absolute. So this one be position absolute in background to be white ampersand fff padding to be zero then zero point three ram then top to be one five three percent right to be negative one four three ps then wait. Then wait to be two eight eight ps. Then we'll give it a border dash radius to be ten ps. Then ball shadow. With two PS, two PS, two PS, then RGB zero, 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 twenty percent. So now the next thing I want us to work on is this one the menu bar. Copy it from here, go to your sources, then dot paste it here. Give it a padding of 7 ps. Okay, so now I want the element that's a, a I want the element inside the a tag to be sitting side by side to copy this one from here so this one be dot paste it here then a give it display to be flex then gap to be 10 ps then add in be 8 ps the border dash radius to be 10 ps and the color to be ampersand 444 ok Now click here and inspect. Go to your sources. Copy everything from here.
inside the home, replace everything with the copy paste. So now I'll just refresh it. Okay. So now the next thing I want, I want us to shift this one. I mean this one. So click here and click on inspect. Inspect on this one. Menu container. I want us to decrease it. So I think I can live with this one. So you can play around with the values and also you can choose to decrease the weight if you want. But I think I can live with this one. So now why you replace this one with the copy test. So now the next thing I want us to do is that when we move on it, I want some background color on it. As you can see. So that one will be on the LI. So copy this one from here. Let's go to this one. Colon Hoover. Let's give it a background color of RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0.3. So now I refresh it and let's see. Okay. So I think I can live with that. I can live with that. But if you don't want to, you can also play around with the values by clicking on this one and clicking on over and click on this one. So over here with this one, you can make it one. Right, so it's up to you the value that you want to be. So, okay. so now I'll copy everything from here. Replace this one with the copy test. So now the next thing I want us to do is to work on this one. So inside there, we have this one over here. So copy this one from here. So this one be you can do it here dot then paste it here give it a border dash top we one ps solid ampersand c e d zero c four then semicolon okay, so now let's refresh it okay So now, by default, we need to add the logout model. By default, we need to add it. So, there is it. So, we we'll set a display of none. Okay. 